ISAs. I don't normally spend a great deal of time talking about them because they're relatively small amounts of money. But there are some welcome changes, I think. You can now inherit an ISA. Um, well, at least a spouse can inherit an ISA, which means that if you've both built up a load of these tax privileges, privileged investments, the privileges are not lost on the death of a spouse. The ISAs can continue in the name of the um, survivor with the tax privileges. Tax privileges being in effect that you don't pay tax on the income. So it's a welcome change. It's not major, but it's a welcome change. Um, the value of an ISA has now gone up to, on an annual basis, to 15,240, uh, which is great. The, the individual limits within the ISAs for shares and cash were abolished last year. And no change with that. Um, that's good. Um, but what they are going to allow is for you to dip into your ISA as long as you put the money back. Um, within the, I think within the tax year, that's what they're basically talking about, you won't have lost your privileged status in that ISA. At the moment, if you withdraw money from an ISA, if you put the money back in, it's part of your annual contribution to the ISA, so it's part of your 15,240. But if you put the money back into an ISA because you had to borrow it temporarily, it won't be part of your annual limit. So you can still put your annual limit into a new ISA. So that's probably welcome uh, as people need money. But we've got this new help to buy ISA. I don't know why they have to call it a help to buy ISA, but that's what they've done. Basically, over a four year period, you can hold the ISA for as long as you like, but over a four year period, if you build up well, whatever you accumulate over a four year period, up to a limit of £12,000, the government will add £3,000 to it at the end if you go and buy a property with the money. You have to be a first time buyer. Um, the property limit in London is 450, so you're limited on where you can buy. Um, outside, I don't know where the limit is or where the geographical boundary is, but outside London it's 250. And it's basically just a first time buyer subsidy. Um, the idea being presumably that it, um, well, it's not, even, it's, it's not even a 5% deposit, is it, at that level? It's a fairly, fairly meagre deposit, but um, so presumably there'll be, there'll be some other schemes to get the mortgage in place so the banks don't have to take any risk. And we take the risk as taxpayers, but that's me. Um, but um, I suppose it's welcome.